Good day. BSG published video on their YouTube channel as well as, well as on their Twitter called Escape from Tarkov Arena Joint Session with Virtus Pro. So, who are Virtus Pro? For some of you that might not know this team, this is a Russian esports organization that participates in such games as Dota, CSGO, R6, and Warface. And they also have a, um, a female CSGO rooster with pretty ladies. So, what does this mean? Uh, you know what, let's watch the video first and then I'll share my thoughts. All right, so this is uh, this is the teaser, right? And first of all, I think this is a great this is a great thing in terms of promotion. Um, SBG managed to cooperate with one of the esports teams, and they shared the video on Twitter. The Versus Pro retweeted the the whole thing, and that might uh, catch catch an eye of other esports team. They're like, all right, bro, like, is there a new game coming out? Like, are we supposed to make a new rooster for this game or something? So this is definitely some really good promotion. Uh, the thing which is, uh, I guess it's, it's kind of a bit concerning for me, but like, um, I don't really know whom they used to test test the arena, because I looked at different roosters and I couldn't see any familiar faces in the video. Maybe maybe some of you have better eyes than me, maybe some of you have eagle eyes, but I couldn't spot any of those players in the video. Maybe it's just me, maybe it was like Virtus Pro exec executive or like their coaches. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of really small details. Um, I'll let somebody else do the video about the details. Um, I think we've also seen that on... Um, on one of the monitors we can see the frame rate that is 94. Um, I mean, since it's in alpha or beta, I guess that's not too bad, but having 94 FPS for an esports game is a bit concerning. But we also don't know like what kind of optimization, what kind of settings they're running and what kind of uh, PCs they use. So I guess overall that's not a big problem for now. Let's wait till Arena release and see what kind of frames we get. Uh, but yeah, I really hope that in the future BSG chooses uh, some Tarkov players with a lot of experience, not necessarily streamers, just somebody who's got a lot of hours and get some feedback from them because I feel like right now um, it's, a, it's a bit difficult to talk about Tarkov on a esports uh, in like in the esports direction because I feel like movement might feel a little bit uh, yucky and I feel like recoil was too high and I think regarding the recoil arena might be the reason why BSG was lowering recoil for the past like half a year or year bit by bit I mean all of those things are adjustable uh, but yeah we get more and more teases of Arena, which makes me think of a couple of things. First of all, Arena might be fully released, which is pretty unlikely. It might be fully released with the next wipe, which will be a huge, huge thing. Uh, I believe more in a more closed approach is going to be released as a uh, beta testing. Like Arena is going to be beta testing. Maybe it will be available for all the players that have EOD or pre-purchase Arena. Or maybe it will be available for a uh, certain amount of players, like 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 selected amount of players, same as BSG do with their uh, test servers. So I really hope Arena is coming soon, because BSG done a lot of teasing, they've done a lot of Arena trailers in the past two or three months, and I hope that does lead to something. Uh, so yeah, I'm really excited for Arena. Uh, hopefully we're gonna get something Arena related, like a playable version of it next wipe, and yeah. If you if you if you have any thoughts, if you have any comments, please share them down in the, the, the like in the in the chat section of the channel. Or come to my Twitch channel where I stream daily and share your thoughts there. And once again, thank you so much for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful rest of your day.